back to my channel. My name is Jazz if you're new here. So this week's video is part two of my little makeover room series. So definitely go check out part one. I'll link it up the top here if you haven't seen it yet. It'll just make a lot more sense. So yeah, I just finished off getting my room ready and I'll show you a little tour at the end. So let's get into it. <laughs> it's bigger than me. Oh my God, let's get into this now and I'll show you what I got and let's start setting up my room. All right, let's open this bad boy, finally. Okay, I'm so excited, wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I'm so excited, okay. diffuser is so small <laughs> it's smaller than my head wow i really thought it was gonna be like as big as like a lamp that just goes when you choose the cheap stuff it's probably because they're minuscule <laughs> oh my god i just gave, <laughs> just gave myself a heart attack i just went to close my window because of that banging and i just stepped on these I think there's mouse poo in the bottom of my box. I'm not even kidding. Oh my God, is that rat poo? Is that? What, you don't think there's a box? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> is there? <laughs> Any animals? Oh my, god, I hope it's not in my room. oh my god, that was too much. There was literally, I think it was mouse poo in the bottom of my delivery. Love that. <laughs> I have to go get dad to deal with it in case it was still on it. So I'm definitely gonna be washing everything before I use it. Let's get into setting up all my stuff. I'm just gonna wash all those towels now. I'm definitely not gonna use them without washing them maybe twice. That banging is gonna drive me mental. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Can't get anything right today, honestly. Bear with me. Um, do you know what I've just realized? It could be the stuff on my plant and not poo. Hold on, just just hold on. It is quite possible it's these like you can't really see, but these have just come loose in the bottom of the box and it in fact wasn't a rat. Yeah! I'm starting to think that that is probably the explanation. I really hope so, but that would make a lot of sense. I've just hung up my plant back there and it looks so cute and I'm just popping essential oils into my diffuser now. I'm gonna set it up for the first time. I'm kind of cheating, but I wanna see it work. I'm going to start with the bathroom. So I'm going to start setting up the bathroom first. So I'm going to take you in here. I'm going to change all these ugly browns to nice pink. I've got your balance up here. So I'm just hoping you're not going to fall. So we're just going to take... Oh! <laughs> Damn. Okay, I'm going to have to find a tripod. So I'm going to get rid of all of the brown. Yuck. And bring in the pink. <laughs> okay. And I'm definitely going to wash these before I use them. I'm just going to pop them in for now to show you. I'm glad I got the bath sheets, whatever that means, because it's not even that big. So I'm guessing the bath towels would have been a lot smaller. I've come to the conclusion that that wasn't poo, I was just being a bit dramatic. It was the fake dirt from my fake plants. I'm not as grossed out as I was before because that would have been absolutely chat. It was a poo in the middle of my box. Which I was about to email came up, so I'm glad I didn't because that would have been so embarrassing. I would have been like, it's just the dirt, like relax. Oh my god, this bath mat is so big, it's not even gonna fit in my tiny bathroom. Holy shit, I might even have to do it like a, an other way. This is why you should check how big things are, which I've learned from today because it's not even gonna fit in the space, so we might have to turn it around the other way or something. 
Okay, since my bath mat doesn't really fit, I'm thinking I'll put it here as like a cute little um, mat. I don't know. And I'll just use it when I have a shower, obviously, too. It fits here, so I'm thinking I'll just pop it here as like a little, like, I don't know, sink mat. And I'll just use it for my shower as well because I didn't check the measurements of anything. And now some things are tiny and some things are too big. So, love that for me. Finally, I can take down this ugly brown shell curtain. I'm just got a plain white one, so I'm hoping it's going to look better. I'm just going to take this down now. This is literally hurting my arms. I'm so weak. I literally just got this white one. I wanted to get a fancy one from Spotlight, but then I didn't want to order from like two different shops. So I have to pay for the reasons. I'm a stinge. So I should this one for now. I'll probably get a nice one. It's literally like a hospital one. Feels like one of those art smocks you used to use in primary school. But it smells. <laughs> it smells like a hospital. It genuinely does. Wow, that's a bit concerning. I'm gonna pop this together. All right, so I'm setting up my LED lights now and I'm stressed because like, it's like quite high tech. <laughs> you have to like stick them on and everything. And I don't know how long three meters is. Like, I don't know how far that's gonna reach. And like, I really don't wanna stuff it up. So I might get mum to help me. You gotta push very firmly. Don't put a hole in the wall. <laughs> and can you draw it in a straight line? <laughs> Why not? No. You're going to it already. Okay, well, maybe you do it and I'll guide you. Okay. You straight line it. Right. Hold, you hold it up. Okay. Teamwork. Watch out, I'm going to strangle you. Is that straight line now? Um, yeah, I'm not really good. Well, you could have moved it with a line first. Yeah, I could have measured it too to make sure I've got one big enough. Is it going to look bad? This is what it's going to look like. This is what it's going to look like this. Maybe I should have done it across the roof so you didn't see it on the wall. <laughs> It's going to be a line straight up your wall like this. The cookies don't break it. Uh, I'm not going to break it. Oh, I should have got the 10 meter one. 3 meters sounds like it's going to be massive. Like I'm like a 1 meter. No, you're 161. <laughs> you're one and a half. So if you had a laid down the floor, worked out two of you. And That's just big, two of me. Stuck yourself to the ceiling. <laughs> you would have been perfect. I'll do that next time. Okay. Stick yourself to the ceiling three times, <laughs> then you'll know how much you need. Kind of looks like an old like movie tape, like a film tape. I think that looks fine. <laughs> looks <laughs> like you got a freaking movie tape up the wall. <laughs> well, maybe I can. I don't know. Everyone does theirs on the roof. I don't know how. Oh, now we've got to kill the mosquito. Yeah, there's a massive. Okay, let's see what they look like on. Oh. I don't, I got it always be blue. No, you can change it, yeah. There's a remote. Oh, they're bright. I know, I told you, it's very bright on the wall. That's why you need them on the roof. <laughs> That's why you need them on the roof. Oh my God, they're so bright. Don't look at them directly. Mum and I have successfully set up the LED lights. For three meters, thinking that would be heaps, but it literally barely reaches the roof. So it just ends there randomly. I'll show you tonight at night time. And I can't change it yet because I don't have the battery. So. Time check, it's 4 p.m. I started this morning and it's going pretty well. We've got up some of the decorations. The bathroom looks really good. We're just gonna paint some of the walls now a bit more white because they're a bit gross at the moment. So mum and I are gonna do that. I will show you soon. I'm so excited to show you the end result because it's actually looking so much better than I thought it would. I've just changed into an old pajama top because I'm going to be painting this wall now. So I don't want to get my clothes dirty and hopefully it looks a lot nicer and white. change paintbrushes because that paintbrush was blue and it made the top of my wall blue so we love that so this one hopefully this one doesn't make it blue painting is so hard i've got it everywhere and my back is so sore and i've done one panel like wow um and it's on my forehead love that the hats off to all you tradies and painters out there that shit's hard oh my god <laughs> love that mum just told me to open all my windows because apparently the paint I use is toxic so if I pass out in the next couple minutes that's why. So it is 5pm on this first day of cleaning and setting everything up. I think I'm going to call it a day because I'm not going to lie I'm feeling quite ill from that um, paint fuse. 
Like it's literally getting their head spin. So I've just put up some of my decorations. Like that plant looks so cute. I'm so happy with that. And I've painted the wall and I put my LED light up there and I'll show you everything else I do and then the final result. But yeah, I'm gonna get out of this room because I'm feeling so sick. <laughs> Okay guys, so I have just spent the last like hour or so just setting up all the last stuff in my room and it looks so much nicer. I'm going to show you guys now the transformation, but I'll show you at night time um, with the lights on and stuff or the LED lights because they look so good. They are so bright. Wow, I never realized. But yes, yeah, so I'll show you um, my bathroom and what it looks like in the day and then I'll quickly show you at night time tonight the lights all on because it is so pretty. And yeah, I'm happy with it. I didn't change that much, but I think it just looks a lot nicer and fresher. So I'll give you a little tour now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little tour now of what I've changed. So I've put just bright colored clothing on my little rack there and I've switched out the coats and stuff just for a little bag. I put another little hook over there with just my other bags. Mind all these hooks on the walls. I have to figure out how to take them off. I don't know how to do that yet. And then we come around here and I'm obsessed with my new plant. Oh, there's me in the mirror. <laughs> I'm obsessed with my new plant just here in the corner. I think it looks so nice and perfect. It makes life looks like you're almost outside. So we love that. Yeah, absolutely love this plant. I reckon this is my favorite thing I got. <laughs> I'll link everything in the description below, but yeah, I reckon this is literally my favorite thing I got out of the whole <laughs> haul. And then I've just tidied up my desk area here and I've got some more storage as well. And then this area is all nice up here. I've got another little plant and then some fairy lights and I've just cleaned all this out as well. And then for my bathroom, it looks so much nicer, not brown. So it's all nice and pink. I've got the mat there, the pink towels, and the pink towels up there, and then the white shower curtain. It's kind of hard to see because my bathroom is so small, but I feel like you get the gist. And I can't wait to show you tonight with all the pretty lights on. I actually decided last minute to change where my LED lights were. They were up on this wall here, going up here. But when I turned them on last night, because they were stuck on the wall, they were so blindingly bright. Like, I, I literally could see the LED light when I closed my eyes because it was so bright. So I put them back up above my wardrobe up here. And I'm hoping, I'll see tonight, but I'm hoping that It'll just make the room glow nice, but it won't be like blindingly bright. <laughs> so fingers crossed, I'll show you that tonight because they're so sick on. And I've got the little remote here on my bedside table. So I can just like sit in bed. I'll just show you now. So I can sit in bed and literally just change it. It's so fun. So I've got them hung, I've got them up here from this PowerPoint. So they look pretty sick. Oh, they're already starting to fall down a bit. But yes, you can change the color from this remote, which is perfect because I'll just leave this by my bed. But I, I'm hoping that if I put them up here, it'll like make the room glow at night time, but it won't be like blindingly bright as it was before. But yeah, I, mean, I love them. It's so fun changing the colors. <laughs> Very happy and I will show you the finished result tonight. So as you can probably tell, it is nighttime now and it is dark. So I'm going to turn on my lights and see how they look in the dark. <gasps> oh. See, they are so bright. Oh my God, wow. Holy, but that, I like how it's, um, I moved them to the back wall, which I think is better because then like, if I'm in bed or something, that's just, just the room that glows, which is so pretty. Instead of like staring straight at the lights because if I was staring straight at them, they are so bright. It hurts your eyes so much, oh my God. Also, I don't know if it's normal, but mine kind of like, <laughs> mine kind of like flicker. I don't know if that's normal or if that's just because I got the cheap ones, but they're low key such a vibe. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this week's video and watching me redo my room. I had so much fun making these videos and I'm just so happy with how my little room decorations and transformation turned out. And yes, I have moved my LED lights again because they kept falling off the roof. I don't reckon the verticalness was doing much good for them. So I'm hoping that they stay up there. Um, and if you have any video suggestions for me in the future, please either leave them in the comments or just chuck me a message on Instagram. I'm always looking for suggestions. And I just wanted to say a massive thank you to my 100 and I think it's like 10 subscribers or something. You guys are the best and I'm so happy to have reached 100, a little milestone for me. And I just really appreciate all the support. It means so much to me. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.